Hey there everyone, this is Alcal playing Mario 3, a set egg, no score, no coins, and today's gonna feature the first absolutely gonna be skit level. Isn't that exciting? Here's second world ice. Fourth level of ice. Jump when the thing is spinning. And you're gonna be okay. Just let the Goombas fall where they will. And you're gonna be okay. This part I remember being complicated, but it's because the rail there is scary. But if you don't have to go, then it is fine. I was afraid there'd be a bunch of coins here, but I don't want a piece switch, so it's fine. Uh, might not be fine here. Uh oh. Okay, this might be more complicated. Can I? Whoa, time hole, weird. Like, if this was Super Mario World, I'm like, okay, do a P-Switch jump off of that one column. And then here, I'm just gonna do that because it's faster and I know he's just gonna move right in the path. Like, whatever. Like, who cares about that guy? He just wants attention. Ignore him. That's how it works! You know how the internet works! Alright, uh, 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 yeah, that's ice. There we go. So here, wait a little bit. You don't need to just jump immediately, you fool. Alright, so... Can I do something like, uh, I certainly can. It's super easy. Alright, awesome. Fantastic. We still got a hot dog. I still jump right in the fire of the hot dog. So here, then we just kind of pull off. So, this hot dog, uh, I have enclosed in your letter. The jewel within. Ah, dang it. I jump, I jump too much to the side. They last like a microsecond. It's surreal. Alright, so there we go. Uh, I mean, ideally, yeah. Okay, and I'm just gonna face through that thing awkwardly. I did it, I guess! <laughs> so, yeah, so 6-5 is a level that just will flat out not be possible. It is a level that requires you to fly, which I could import a feather, a uh, leaf rather. However, I think you need to clear enemies to be able to fly, so I could import a P-switch. But you need to bring a shell, which will cost points, to kick at a place after flying to break bricks which will cost points and kill a bunch of plant enemies which will cost points. It would it would cost a resource to be able to do it's a level I don't even need to actually be and so 6-5 is the first level that officially I simply just decline of doing. If you want if you've never played Mario 3 and you want to see the level Look up Cubic Tom's blind playthrough of Mario 3, and you'll see what it's about. Six six, here we go! Ice cave. For once, it's just so extremely relevant that the game offers you. So this is these are so cool. Uh, when I was a young lad, I thought they were so scary, but like the pattern is very obvious. I forgot that Spike returned. He wasn't just kind of stuck in his one level. No, he's a he's a multiple level lad. He's got oh geez, all the creamed sushi bar foundation tickets. He could manage to find, and he's using those resources to appear in the level in World Six. That's that's how it works. The nepotism in the Koopa King army, I don't think, should be very surprising, all things considered. Oh, that is a nice world, but sometimes the ice... Oh, there's two of them? Whoops, bad timing there. Just bad timing. When are we going to see some of these in Mario World? Fizz jumping from a pond and then disappearing entirely. <laughs> just, just, just completely sullable. Which is a bad trait to be for a fish, but you know that's what's what em 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 emulation. Yes, that's what evolution is all about. It's trial and error, and we just don't talk about the errors all that much because they make us sad. Look at a very bad whoa there, masking around these tiles though. You can totally see the background, and you can totally see the cutoff of the water on the side of these pipes. This is some. This is some bad quality hack job we're witnessing here. What the heck? Dude, Nintendo, this is kind of sad. Alright, this is 
guy, and then there's other guy. There's another guy! I wasn't ready for third guy. But there's something unpleasant. What? Oh, I'm not, not fighting it, not fighting it, not fighting it. <laughs> Get out of there! <laughs> There's another spike right here for no reason. Alright, he's on screen. Everything is alright. Everything is gonna be alright! Poltergeist! Alright, so people have been wondering why I've been hollering this hammer here all this time for no reason. The only reason I've been holding on to that hammer is in case 7 is impossible. <laughs> That's the only reason. I just don't remember. And I don't want to have to use a cloud on the level, so I figured, well, I'm just gonna bring this hammer with me. Because I remember this is one of those, I think maybe you get all this money, kind of, like, I, I remember it's a level with a lot of money in it. And so I wanted to have options in case I had to skip it. You know? And so here we are. That hot dog exploded. Like a real hot dog will do if not tended properly with three cc's of mayonnaise every morning and five pounds of relish in the evening. Nothing underneath the moon though. That's just gonna cause problems. So, the more I'm playing this, the more I realize that uh, there was nothing to fear. Oh, well, I mean, nothing impossible yet is a thing. Yeah, no, this level actually turned out to be really easy and simple. So I was dragging that hammer with me uselessly all this time. If you got fire, you can unthaw these coins. You can get frozen money out of the bank. Yeah, so, yeah, that hammer was wasted. I could have gone an extra Tanuki or something in an earlier level in World 4. Ah, well, a learning experience that will lead nowhere. How's it going? This is all entirely made of ice. Maverick Thwomp is here. That's what I remember this level for. Ice and side thwomps, as I probably call them. Maybe, I don't know what, what I used to call these things when I was a kid. Maverick Thwomp is definitely an adult creation because it's not a name I came up with. That was back in a something awful days. Uh, some uh, a goon made a joke. This Maverick, this, this Thwomp's gone Maverick, not knowing that one day I would dedicate like a year or so of my life to Mega Man, and um, and that just kind of stuck. You know, that just kind of stuck as such a clever apple. This this. Stage I always thought it was funny because one, there's ice physics, but two, boom boom got his little launch flight launch platform there. Like, isn't that adorable? Like, isn't that just the cutest thing in heck? Well, maybe not. But we can pretend. Alright, I'm gonna put my safe state here. Uh boop. But let's demonstrate what's going on here. I'm going to load up a piece with it, just to give everyone, just to give people who don't know. I think it could piece switch over the level and be a level that way, possibly, and maybe not. Maybe one day. Alright, so this is what happens on this level. Well, you're here in a cave, there's a very annoying echo sound. So this level goes on a loop. And you're meant to fly every once in a while. And you see like these side passages here, but yeah, so normally this level goes on a loop. You're like, wow, I'm enjoying my Mario 3. It's a lot of fun. And at some point, you know, you're like, all right. So like, it's not a, like I thought there's a lot of trash and enemies down there. But see, you need to fly up here with a shell and destroy all of this. That's just, that's just not going to happen. That guy's ready to rumble. And yeah, like you told, well, well, there you go. Like, you would just get yourself killed everywhere, everything, everywhere. It's just not plausible. The game gives me a split path. I will use, you know, the benefit provided to me by that split path. Sometimes being a monk turns out it's about being smart. 